Hello everyone, CJ here, and welcome back to another video. Or um, reaction video, I should say. And today we're going to be reacting to everything we know about Paw Patrol the Movie 3 so far by Detective Wolfie. Now, I've already seen the sequel back in t last year, and the first one as well on Paramount Plus. What? On my with my TV right here, and I'm actually curious what what pop the third Paw Patrol film will be about. I mean, the first one is about Chase, and the second sequel is about Sky. So who would so which pop will the third Paw Patrol film about be about? Marshall, Rebel, Rocky, Zuma? I don't know. Anyways, I'll put the original in the description down below if you all want to check out the original for yourself. Uh, without wasting our time, let's get into it. Paw oh. Patrol's third film is coming in from scenes to new members. Okay. That's all we know so far. First, we have the movie's release date. The film will drop July 17th of right. 2026, which was confirmed by Kyle really? Brunker, the director of the past two movies. Well, we which means we're gonna have, it's going to be a while. Substantial amount of info about this movie from some audition mm -hmm. documents. These were for those interested in booking a role in Paw Patrol 3. You could right. audition for one of two characters. Ryder, the leader of the Paw Patrol who we all know, or Dexter, a character we've never heard of before. Luckily, Who's we Dexter? have loads of info on him. The website says Dexter is a golden retriever and an expert on large jungle animals. Mm -hmm. Years ago, Dexter was lost at sea during a storm and washed up on a desert. Dexter is a creative inventor and builder who has used the resources all on right. the island to create an amazing treehouse where he lives. Okay. He's built all sorts of contraptions to help him take care of the wildlife. He loves caring for the animals of the island and acts as their vet. Sometimes he rides on Ronnie or I know who is one of his best friends. Dexter uses a wheelchair to get around. Really? He's a bit of a dare. Is that supposed to be a reference? Reference to Rex from Pop Patrol Di Dino Rescue. Is it called Dino Rescue or is it called something else? I don't know. Let's keep Definitely going. And an extreme athlete. He loves hang gliding across the island and rail sliding down trees and roots, riding them like a half pipe. With everything he does, Dexter is constantly mm -hmm. trying mm -hmm. to improve. Whether it's building his accessible island treehouse, taking care of the animals, or rail sliding through the forest, Dexter knows the mm -hmm. only way to grow is by making mistakes and finding solutions. He doesn't let challenges stop him, and his unflappable perseverance is one of his greatest assets. Overall, he sounds like a pretty fun right. and unique addition. But the info doesn't stop there, as we also get not one, but two actual scripts for scenes in the movie. These are okay. packed with new details. First, right. we have this one. It starts with a shot of the Paw Patrol Mobile HQ exterior. This could be mm -hmm. the aircraft carrier HQ or a new HQ entirely. Mm -hmm. Then we have this piece. Martin is staring at the mangled wreck of his truck. Watermelon sleeps curled up nearby. Who's my turn? Touches the track. Wait, why, Melon? Is is some is the character in the movie named Watermelon named after the fruit? I don't know. Let's keep going. A panel breaks off, falling to the ground with a quaint. Mm -hmm. Dexter throws up mm -hmm. next to him. Right there, we get two new characters, Watermelon okay. and Martin. As Watermelon All right. is sleeping in oh. the same room so as the Watermelon is that a they dog. Just met the pop joy, and this is their first time sleeping in this mm -hmm. HQ. I say this mm -hmm. because a vehicle room isn't the proper room for sleeping. As for mm -hmm. Martin, we'll discuss him in a moment. For All now, right. we have about 15 lines of scene, which you can read on screen now. We learned that Martin himself crosses mm -hmm. his truck and is feeling quite dejected because of it. Then Dexter comes in and gives Martin a heartfelt pep talk. Now I have a few theories about this, though I'll be showcasing more info that will tie into it later, so we'll wait All until right. then. Meanwhile, we have the other script, Dexter. The scene starts with the jungle during the daytime. Then Dexter and Winston race through the forest. Winston sees a group of birds on the other side of the ravine. So now we've got another new character, Winston. We have the rest Winston. of the scene on screen for you to read now. It's quite All brief right. and just consists of... Yeah, I'm not going to read because I'm not a very good reader. Birds ...to evacuate their nest, though the birds refuse to leave so they can protect an egg. This raises a certain question. 
and why must the birds get out of their nests so badly? Well, I actually think that there may be a volcano eruption nearby. Seems like quite a leap, but they are in the jungle, and every time hmm. a volcano has erupted in the series, it has been in a jungle. That's all for the direct scripts, but we do have more info from other sources. We have the title of the film. Paw Patrol right. 3 will be called Paw Patrol the Dino Movie. <laughs> it's okay. definitely not the greatest name, but could be changed later on. Mm -hmm. This was revealed on what? two different Brazilian film websites. Wait, there's Brazilian websites? Be one of Brazil's biggest. This was likely an accident as the pages they were on it don't exist anymore. If ah. you've enjoyed so far, Marshall thinks you should like the video and subscribe. <laughs> Another thing that's mm -hmm. really exciting is that a secondary member from the series will be joining the movie cast. With the title reveal, you would probably mm -hmm. guess that it's Rex, and that oh. is correct. Let me tell I Looks like that was kind of right. I guess this kind of makes sense to the one that I talked that I talked about earlier. Are you why I think so? You see, I believe that audition description for Dexter had some lies in it. In I a think veil, Dexter I meant. Dexter is actually Rex. Both of them have wheelchairs. Love their local wildlife, and you can spell Rex with the letter oh. Dexter. And as I mentioned earlier, this no. is the Dino movie, and Rex is the Dino pup. Mm. One thing that mm. could cancel out this theory is the fact that Dexter is listed as a golden retriever. Real. Though likely was to disguise revealing details mm. about the movie. And another theory is that Martin could be the code name for Marshall. As Martin had crashed his truck, you could assume that he is fairly clumsy, like our favorite Dalmatian. Also, wait, is Martin Marshall's dad? His self-esteem is quite low in that scene, like we've seen from Marshall a few times in the series. Mm. On the topic of him, mm. I believe that Marshall will be the main pup of Paw Patrol 3. As okay. Sky, Chase, and Marshall are the main pups when it comes to promotion mm. and merch. And Chase and Sky have starred in the last mm. two films, Marshall would mm. be next in line. More proof is the scene we talked about earlier where Dexter or Rex is comforting mm -hmm. Marshall or Martin. That could be the comforting scene like we've mm -hmm. seen in the past two movies. Examples being when Sky gets Chase off of the building or Ryder talking to Chase mm -hmm. in Pop Troll the movie. And Chase and Sky talking about her backstory in the Mighty movie. All of them follow the same formula of a character mm -hmm. comforting the main character. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Watch right. this video right here next if you enjoyed, and as always, uh... Wait, Paw Patrol's huge style changes fish right here? Hold on. I think I'm gonna do a double reaction to it. I'm gonna keep this video on for a while. Alright. new style changes Let's finally see. here, and I'll show and tell you what all oh, has wow. changed and if it's for better or worse. First up, the pup. They're the main characters, what? and for the most part, they look good, <laughs> though the browns on all of them uh, look off. Mostly because they're just too dull and not bright enough. Uh, what Chase saw that could be fixed is his lighter fur could be a bit uh, less red. For Rubble, his brown fur is just a bit too dark. For oh, Zuma, wow. his coat is fairly dull. And for Sky, her fur colors have changed a decent bit. For some reason, it will mm. switch colors between a more yellow one and a more reddish one. Oh. Talking about Rocky and Marshall, I think they look great. I okay. think Rocky had the best transition to this new style. When they're in their uniforms, their fur colorings look much better. Hi, Sam. Rider, sir. Now for the humans. Mr. Porter and Mayor Humdinger both got stupendous transitions over to this new style. Captain Turbot keeps his dull eyes, which is unfortunate, because he looks much better with full eyes, like he had in the movies and Rebel Angry. But you won't want to hear about Ryder. Well, I'm kind of conflicted on his new design. It's his face shape that bothers me the most. Before, it yeah. looks sharper, and here, it's more rounded. But everything else about him looks awesome. No problem, Mayor Goodway. Whenever your pet shows in peril, just yell for help. Also, we have Katie in this new style, and I find she looks a bit younger, and Ryder looks a bit younger, too. Another human we yeah. have yet to mention is Mayor Goodway. She looks a bit mm. odd, mainly because of her hairstyle. Next, I'd like to talk- Is this like- Is this like the CGI- Is this like the reference to the CGI version of Thomas and Friends? Well, Hit Entertainment switched from models to CGI? Talk about locations, all of them look amazing. 
Mr. Porter's cafe looks fantastic, and Katie's pet parlor does as well. I also really like how inside of it looks especially delighted. Though it's not just the main buildings, but the background buildings also make the whole town just feel so much more lively and full. Although the main building, the lookout, is marvelous. The bottom floor has had a lovely update on the walls, and the top section has so much to offer too. Also, the elevator sequence has had a massive upgrade. And the outside of the okay. lookout is just as wonderful. Every aspect of the lookout is very technological, which I believe was a fantastic choice. But the buildings aren't the only mm -hmm. outdoor aspect, we also gotta look at Foggy Bottom. The trees and the shrubbery look so lush there, and the same goes for Wait. the greenery in Adventure Bay. Also, we gotta look at the sparkling river, though just a brief one, sadly. By the way, Marshall would like it if you would like the video and subscribe. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna talk about various minor things I found interesting. The vehicles, the texturing looks amazing on them. We also right. got a close-up shot of the texture on Chase's fur and his pup back hair. It just shows how high quality this update is. Also, look at Holly, doesn't he just look amazing? But the kittens I find have gotten the best transition over to this new style out of everyone. They look like how they did previously, but just better. The animation okay. is very cartoonish, which is a cute detail. All the flaws I mentioned earlier may be fixed in... And I'm guessing this... Or this could be a reference to Mattel's take on the CGI version of Thomas and Fred's. As the same went for the flaws of season 1 of Paw Patrol in season 2, and the flaws of season 1 of Rebel and Crew in season 2. Anyways, that's all I have. If you want more info on this style... Okay. Well then. That was the double reaction video. I wasn't expecting the new design in the Paw Patrol. I kind of like the original style better than this than the new style. The new style for the Paw Patrol series kind of reminds me of the models they used in the Paw Patrol movies. Which is similar to what Mattel did to Thomas and Friends in CGI. Uh, anyways guys, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you all like this video, then please give this video a like. I'd be appreciative. And guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Then hit consider subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>